No, dude, I miss it though. Do you I ever do try? Do you have an agent? I have an agent, but it's a radio agent. It's not a TV. I've done some TV hosting stuff. Yeah, why don't you do more? I want to. I'm actually trying to get. Is back that why into you do that. video podcasts? <laughs> no, it's just it's something to load up on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. you got here's here's yeah, you got to meet people halfway. If it's mm-hmm. in their cars, if it's on Alexa, if it's on a podcast, whatever, right. you got to go where they're at. Or if it's on Facebook, why not? If they want to invest time with us, we got to go get them too. Mm-hmm. So that was my. It's up to the audience speech right there. No, yeah, you do a good job of that. I, I tried. We to. got new cameras in our studio. Oh yeah. Bill got mad yesterday because Chris turned them on and didn't tell him we were on Facebook. Oh, he doesn't Live. like that. He don't like that. He don't like that. And he's so handsome too. But he don't. He shies away from the camera. <laughs> he don't like. I didn't like it either though. That's just because it was like, damn, my head is ginormous. <laughs> Dude, you're too hard on yourself. You got a great fian- beautiful fiance. Tru- oh yeah, no, I got game. Don't get me wrong. Like I, <laughs> you know, I don't. I'm not over here like one of these guys. Like I'm ugly. I can't get a date. I don't know how. Like I've been fortunate when it comes to you know being able to have companionship and beautiful yeah. companionship. Uh, you know, but man, I am not. You know, my my. I think my parents were too close on the on the tree or something, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's just like I'm from a small town, right? Yeah. So it's like. I don't know. They might have been, you know, whatever. It, well, it is what it is. Now. You might I well, don't want to look into it. You know what I'm I, really Actually, about. we did. We got our DNA done. And um, it, the You're lady, all related. The, no, the lady came back and she told me that there, it doesn't get much whiter than me. Is what the lace house. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Yeah, man. she's like, oh, you're like 96% German. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I got nothing else going on. Oh, my did God. Did you see? It was not a good look. Sports again. Did you yeah. see the Johnny Manziel thing? He's, yeah, he's like, kicked out of CFL. Because they that? drug test too much. That's what Is that what it was? He violated so, that. Can, and man, you want to know the cool thing. We need to move to Canada if you want to be private because they ha- apparently have some serious privacy laws because they're not even allowed to say why Johnny uh-huh. Manziel, uh, his contract was, you know, voided or whatever yeah. because, like, they just, like, we keep that, you he know. He violated the yeah. rules. But, but Johnny you. came out and said what he did. Oh, so okay. this is Johnny's thing is he said that they had too many – uh, he missed too many doctor's appointments and he was supposed to go to a therapist once a week. I read that as like they drug test too much. Yeah. That's what I read. But apparently well, his he history might be coming would be... to San Antonio though. Oh, wow. Well, his history yeah. would, would show that. And he still brings people out. I mean, he's still a story. Yeah. It's kind of, it sucks though. He because... would just add on because apparently like in the American Allegiance football. Have you gone to one of those games yet? I, I wanted to after I saw how many people showed up when they got, got almost tickets. Thirty thousand people in the like that's crazy. I want to get you. A but press that's San pass? Antonio though. Like San Antonio, you put on a cool like you put on anything like they'll they come rally. out to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like rally. you put on an event, they'll come support it. Like that's a great thing about re- working a radio and and being in a sports city like that. Being in this market is, I mean, that's why our show does so well. It's just because we do well here, but that's because the people are so. They're so supportive and so stick with you too. Oh yeah, for sure. That's the same with us. It's it's great having it written. It's fun. It's funny because I, when I get, you know, if we get good ratings, I get nervous because I go, man, this could change any day because it really, the way it is, something can sway very, very easily. So I'm always grateful. It's a constant grind. Yeah. It's not, it's never comfortable, but it's look uh, at you. You're doing a podcast because you're never comfortable, right? You're constantly grinding. I had to let this guy in my house. I know. I know where he lives now and what his gate code is. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I'm sure you can put that out there. Hey, can you park in the street? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. All right. Cause I didn't know if this was one of those neighborhoods. Oh no, no, no. You're good to go for now. I mean, if you park there overnight, maybe. Okay, or you have me towed, yeah. Oh, no, right. just they come tow it. Do they mow your lawns here? Or no, do no, you I got to pay for that. Oh, you got to pay for yeah. that? Okay. Well, yeah. I got a, I hired a guy. It seems like everybody's so well manicured in this neighborhood. Well, I think that's because the HOA, you're required they'll come, they'll, to do it. You can, get, you can get tagged for that kind of stuff. Right, yeah. You need to get tagged for not walking your dog on a leash or picking up after your dog, too. My HOA keeps telling me I need a rake. I guess there's a bunch of leaves there. Dude, I they don't also think want I've... me to pick up my dog poop every day. Every day? Yeah. But is it on your own property? Well, I mean, I you know I rent. And it's well, like, I'm saying like, is it I live on your, in like an old people's community? Oh, I guess yeah, it doesn't matter because that's you're renting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, and my dog takes. You don't want to know. I have a big dog. Well, you probably so should like, pick up. I know, but it's like, man, you don't want to pick that up right away. You gotta let that sit overnight. You know <laughs> what I mean? That's All disgusting. Right. Well, man, I appreciate you coming over today, brother. Plug your podcast you, brother, again. You're the best. No, I'm absolutely not. Uh, it's just been my pleasure to be on the Jr. Podcast. Ooh, Jr. Off Air, man. Jr. Off Air. I gave you a T-shirt already. You gotta know this. Uh, yeah, I uh, I appreciate it. You got a great setup, and uh, I look forward to plug more your, episodes. Yeah, dude. Plug your uh, thing. I, I'm Derek from the Billy Madison Show. That's I won't plug nothing. No, I'm not, I'm not even doing. I'm not even doing a podcast right now. Well, though. it's gonna come up. You're gonna do. 
Red Derek podcast, March Madness. Uh, look for those basketball bets. March is tomorrow, brother. So you're back. Yeah, I know. Tournament ain't started yet, though. Okay, cool. When will this be released? Uh, next, uh, next Wednesday. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Derek, all good, everybody. Appreciate you hanging out. JR off air.